I'm actually really glad they didn't go with Ragnarok. Hey everybody, how's it going? It's G from the F Word, here to talk Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Just like I said in my little cold open there, I am so happy they never went with Ragnarok because the longest time it was Ubisoft's making a new Assassin's Creed game. It's going to be set in the Viking era, and they're going to be calling it Ragnarok. I'm like, no. Please don't, because Ragnarok is too much on the nose. It invokes too much. There's it's there's so much weight behind a name like Ragnarok. Now, my little history with Assassin's Creed. Assassin's Creed 2 is my favorite out of the entire series. Assassin's Creed Origins is a very close second. And Assassin's Creed Unity, that's right, I said Unity, is my third favorite. Because Assassin's Creed Unity has been the closest thing we've gotten to a true Assassin's Creed game in a while. Now you can disagree, you can say it was broken, you can say you had issues, I didn't, I liked it. It was an Assassin's Creed game, not just, hey, we wanted a game set in London, for instance, and let's just throw the Assassin's Creed logo on it. And then Odyssey was that next level that was like, well, we're just gonna scrap it all together because we just want a mythological adventure in Greece. So this one, I've got some thoughts on. Does it feel like an Assassin's Creed game? No. The trailer had like that feeling of revelations a little bit when like he goes to Masyaf and then he's fighting and then he turns around and he sees Altair, very much like Avoy in this one. I'm pretty sure that's how you say his name. Sees Odin. So I got that feel from the trailer. It was a really good trailer overall. I like the juxtaposition of what was being said by the king and what was happening with the Vikings, right? He says, oh, they're barbarians. They kill anybody. They show that they stop before killing the mother and child, at least your character. Uh, they show that they burn everything that's there, and then they kind of show the Viking coming in, fighting, and playing with the kids. I really like that angle in the trailer specifically. Then it shifts and it shows us like the really cool Viking boats, your crew, the arrows coming in, and then the brutal fighting. I kind of liked what they did in Odyssey, where they had the gods being a part of the game itself, but I also felt that that just kept going further and further away from the lore that they set. And you could be saying the thing of, well, they kind of botched it years ago. Does it really matter? And I honestly don't know. I liked how they was handled in Origins, that it was just, it was kind of there, but they focus on the Assassin's part of the Assassin's Creed. This one kind of seems like Black Flag Plus. The creative director, Ashraf Ismail, had said his motivations in line with the Hidden Ones, just like in Black Flag, where he wasn't really wanting to be an uh, assassin, but he kind of stumbled upon it. This one kind of seems like the same thing. I like the idea of the dual wielding. I think it's cool. And I totally had a Captain America Infinity War feeling when they said, yes, you can dual wield shields. That's just awesome. If they don't do a DLC with dual wielding Captain America style shields from Infinity War, I'll be very upset. I'm super happy that they're bringing back the settlement idea, just like Renagua, Montagioni, or in Unity, like they had your cafe there. Something that you can go back to and build on and you get perks from. So there are actually a lot of things, the more or I've thought about it to get excited about for this game. Even though Assassin's Creed has kind of been walking away from the Assassin's Creed part of it, and it seems more just like, hey, where do we want to play next? Let's go here. How are we going to do it? Well, we've got this brand called Assassin's Creed, which kind of gives us creative license to go anywhere we want. I really wish they would walk away from the multiple choices that you can have in the dialogue. It just, it didn't work in Odyssey for me. It just felt like it didn't matter what you did. Um, I know they have faction battles. In Odyssey, it didn't matter either. I mean, you could fight for Sparta, you could fight for Athens, and at the end of the day, they all treat you the same. Eventually, word's gonna get out that you are fighting and helping the other side, and then they're both just going to off you. And I think the idea of having just all these different choices to make just takes away, especially when you're talking about the Animus, which I believe we're still talking about in this game, and the Animus is based on DNA of things that happened. It's never made sense to me why you would have multiple dialogue choices in a system that is designed off events that actually happened. And the Blade's coming back. That's pretty cool. I like, don't mind that he's got it over on his fist. It seems more Viking badass style, where I just don't know how that's going to fit with stealth as well because of the brutal combat that they're saying is going to be in this. So yes, I've got so many more thoughts on this one. Let me know what you guys think. Are you excited for Assassin's Creed Valhalla? Which Assassin's Creed games were your favorites? Who was your favorite hero out of all of them? And let me know why, because I know that's so different between all the fans, and I think that's actually pretty cool. The fact 
fact that this series has been able to do so many different things, some hits, some misses, and it just kind of keeps evolving. With somebody like Ashraf behind the helm, that you could do what they did in Origins, where it really redefined the series in a really good way. And I believe that he's the one to do it. So, yeah, until the game comes out, nobody really knows. Apparently some gameplay is coming out like May 9th or something like that, but don't quote me. And so I'll leave that at that. Like I said, let me know in the comments below what your thoughts are on AC Valhalla. You can hit that subscribe button, hit that like button. Make sure you're following our weekly podcast. And until next time, I'm G and I am out.